We're here at Music Messer 2016 on the RME booth with Matthias Carstens, who's going to tell us about some new RME products. So, Matthias, yep. what do you have for us? Oh, wow, well, we have four new products to 400. celebrate. No, no, four new products okay, right. to celebrate the 20 years of RME, 20 successful years, if I may say so. Congratulations. And, um, well, let's start. First one here, 5 phase UFX Plus. That is a kind of update of the existing UFX. Uh, we made the analog circuitry board completely new. That has some nice uh, improvements, partly in details like SNR and THD, but partly in usability because, for example, the mic inputs, the microphone inputs, are now PET-free and work up to 18 dBU and still have a gain range of more than 70 dB. Wow, okay. So that is much better than uh, in the original UFX. The headphone outputs follow our now new trend of keeping them more low impedance style. They are two ohms only. Uh, the direct functionality, that means direct USB recording with a USB stick at the front, okay. works much better. That means you can use slower sticks than before and still record safely and securely. Um, well, the biggest change, of course, is we added MADI I.O. That means 64 channels more, mm -hmm. means 94 channels in out compared to 30 before. Right. And uh, to be able to transfer all these channels to the computer back and forth, we of course needed to upgrade USB 2 to USB 3. Right. And because nobody gives a damn about FireWire anymore, <laughs> we exchanged that with Thunderbolt as well. Okay, so, so you have all the options you need and a really nice interface Perfect. today. And the, the control software is still the Total Mix FX, is it? Yeah, it's very okay. familiar to the old. It's mm -hmm. just better, quicker, faster, nicer. Uh, even the DSP is a little bit more powerful to uh, be able to handle all the, the big amount of channels, of course. And uh, even the standalone capabilities have been improved a little bit because we can do more standalone than before. What, sorry? We can do more functions standalone than before. Right, okay. Uh, because like, we, like we what, changed what, the internal design a little bit. What sort of functions are we talking about? Uh, well, using the whole stuff with reverb and echo and all the equalizers and mixing and doing, it's, everything works. Okay, and so when's this going to be available then, and how much will it cost? Um, uh, it should be available around July to August, and the European sales price, what is that manufacturer suggested? Retail price or something? MSRP? Uh, it should be um, 2699 including VAT. Okay, great. Yeah. So there's one more special thing on this unit, which leads us to the next news. Mm -hmm. That is on the back of the unit, you don't have the old round plug mini DIN for the uh, advanced remote control anymore. Right. Instead, you have a USB okay. socket. And this points to the new advanced remote control USB. Okay, the yeah. ARC USB then. Yeah. So the advanced, control, um, advanced remote control USB, you see it has more buttons than the old one. Mm -hmm. 15 freely assignable programmable buttons. These are illuminated, so you clearly see what you do. Uh, with the encoder wheel, and it's just USB. And the point with this one is it's USB 1.1 class compliant. Right. That means you plug it to Mac, you plug it to Windows, and it just works. It immediately communicates with Total Mix FX, and it doesn't need a driver. Right. Um, with bus powered, of course. Mm -hmm. And because of USB 1.1, you can use very long cables. So yeah. it's not a problem at all. And then you connect it to this unit for standalone operation. Mm -hmm. But you connect it directly to the computer for all the rest. So that for those is much better than the old one that you always had to connect here mm -hmm. and had a fixed five meter cable with it. Right. Okay. Uh, so um, even with foot switches on here. Uh, so for, for people who aren't familiar with the the, the previous yeah. arc, can you tell us just a bit more about the implementation and what what's it actually controlling? What what do the snap buttons do? Yeah, this is some kind of uh, default. Uh, uh, actions that you have on here, like uh, you pull up the different mixing snapshots, mm -hmm. one to eight, uh, you have the external input, if you want to listen to that, you have mono, and uh, you can adjust the volume from the phones or the main, mm -hmm. you can switch to talkback mode to speakers B and dim. That okay. is the default set, but we have uh, 17 different commands with a total of 42, because they're separate in each other, uh, 42 commands that you can put on every of these uh, 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 buttons, okay. and we also ship this one with sticky labels, okay. with all these commands on. So you just put them on the here over yeah. the default one, and you can see the correct one. Perfect. Yeah. 
And does it is it just this unit yes, that it works it's, with, it's, or it just works now with the UFX Plus? Okay, it doesn't work yeah. with the older no, units. No. Okay, right. Yeah. And how much does this cost then? Uh, One hundred sixty-nine. Okay, euros. Including VAT, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. And available when? Same. July, August. Okay. Together with the unit. Cool. Thanks. Okay.